Okay, and this is a really, um, I'm a little country. Everyone thinks of it. And, yeah, we'll go from time to time. Hmm. I never had a ghoul, and then having something to drink on tap is actually very nice. If you might, it's fine. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. What? I'll Talk your bitch. You to your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Do that and clean the place up a bit. See ya. Yeah, this Heather. And although it's the same tool to have to keep her around, she is useful. Sometimes. Like all the ghouls are sometimes useful. And you can see Patty, he was sort of annoying. He was very dangerous, but Nox, he was cool. He's okay. I like Nox. I mean, initially I didn't like him, him too much, but after a while he sort of drew on me. Likewise, hey, Chuck. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Uh, sure. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. What, gay? It's okay, Chuck. You don't have to hide it anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. What do you think he is? Do you think he's the mafioso? Come on. It's okay. You can tell me. Godfather. Okay, we're just gonna go upstairs. I've said all I need to for now. Hmm. Where are these folks were? Hello? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone in Bogus Massacre, there weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood on the floor, and it looked like it had been open, open. from within. Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in. The parade of malingering molly couples filing out. Yeah. Who are they? Those were the primogen. This city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's hmm. appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. A house call to a goddamn shed end? I want action. This is ghoul's work. Each minor problem, like a grain of sand. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? Uh, I understand. What should I do? Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Hmm. I have a few questions to ask before I go. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Hmm. I had some questions about people. Yes. Yourself. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, 
I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. Hmm. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. Hmm. What clan are you? I'm Ventral. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my council. Hmm. Question that's about someone else. Yes. Hmm. Tell me about Beckett. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Mm-hmm. I had some questions about someone else. Yes. Uh, tell me about Jack. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. <laughs> yes? Uh, tell me about Virgin. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. Mm hmm. Something else? Which is. Uh. Don't forget the bot. Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Yep, spot are pretty devilish. But sometimes they are fun to play. Ah, uh, could yes. someone else? The guy standing behind you. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Ah. Uh, well, I'm ready to go see Grout. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. What? Until then. Uh, goodbye, I guess. All right, see you, man. Uh, but I need some. Blood. I don't need too much blood, but I should report back to the Anarchs. So let's go report back to the Anarchs. Hee <laughs> hee. And I can see we learned a little bit about Jack, a little bit about the Prince, a little bit about the major players, but most importantly, you should be more concentrate on Jack. Jack, our friend. You like Jack. And as you see, many tricksters, which I believe Jack is an ultimate trickster, or he's just a chaotic little lump, will take even the minutes. Well, I'm not going to tell you much about my theory, but just know that he's a cool, cool, awesome guy. Round. Hmm. That's okay. Hey kid, where you been? I went to check out the bill of the day. Running a little fat binding mission for LaCroix, were you? Unfortunately. And the sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ancaran sarcophagus before you went? Uh, not a word much as would have would have liked. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. 
He was asleep this whole time? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So 